so close. And he hasn't got the cover. Well, what's this? Just under 12 feet away. And he's got a slight angle to get out for pink and black. But, I mean, Ricky won't be too concerned with yellow and green there. But if, if Mark were to get red and black or pink, he could lay a really good snooker. Well, he might not even take the pink here. He could play the brown and lay the snooker. If he was fairly straight on the pink, he would take the pink and then lay the snooker from the yellow. Looking to put them on the cushion. Black well, that's on. clever Four. thinking there. Not only has he laid the snooker, he's put the black safe. A little bit of insurance for him later on. Because if Ricky got in, he would need that black to win the frame. Well, I'm not sure that he can get enough action on the white there from that distance. A lot of elevation on the cue here. A, a slow swerve. Well done. Oh, what about that, eh? They were fairly set to do that, actually. It's a great shot. Yeah, got perfect contact. You can say he was a little bit lucky, but I think that was mainly skill from Walden. Yeah. Has it got the legs? Oh. Ricky Walden, four. Is that a free ball? Free ball. Because he can't hit both sides. Mark Allen isn't convinced about that. The thing is, the yellow is closer to the cushion than the green. It's the just where the, the green is that's the problem, the position. No, it's a free ball. Free ball. Well, Colin Humphries is standing by his, uh, by his call. It's a free ball. Well, Ricky's done the gentlemanly thing there. He's had it put back because he could easily, easily have taken the, the blue as the yellow free ball. Well, he, what's, what's, but what's the dispute? I mean, clearly well, he can't hit both sides of the yellow. Well, the, the Mark Allen's saying that he can. I think Ricky Walden well, was saying that he can. He, he but patently can't. Well, but, I mean, look at the position of the green. But Colin was saying that it is a free ball. But, but Ricky decided, for the sake of an argument, he decided to put the white back. The only way that. Oh, this. Mark Allen, five. Well, this is unbelievable the way it's turned round. This is a free ball now. That's a definite free ball because he caught the blue on the way through and he's got it off. So this is a free ball, Brown, counting as the yellow. Well, it was a free ball before. 
Yeah, well, both players were discussing it. I mean, Colin Humphreys, there's Ricky. Both players were discussing it. Colin Humphreys was standing by his decision. Mark was thinking it wasn't a free ball and the yellow and green were on the cushion. Ricky was a bit on and now in, but he had it put back. But that was a disaster for him to go in off in the middle, off the blue. Brown ball. Now, when you place the ball in the D like this, it's got to be more than half ball inside the D. Well, this could be massive now that, uh, that Ricky went in off into the middle Two. pocket. Mark Allen, two. Still plenty on there for Ricky Walden. 19 in it then. 27 on. Played one there. Well, what about this? Well, luckily for Ricky, he's just come away from the blue. Good chance to get in behind the green and the blue here. He's got a 19-point lead. and It's just as well that um, he put the black safe on that side cushion about 10 minutes or so ago. Great crowd in here in Manchester. Don't go in off. Don't go in off. Well, it's all happening at the moment. Marathon frame. Eventful frame, controversial frame now. Who will prevail? 15 points in Mark Allen's favour. Colours remaining. Didn't need much more. This frame could still go either way. Two more to come after this one in this opening session.
He's the green and the brown to lead 4-3. Five. Well, that's not too clever. Only needing the brown. He was trying to just slide by it. Didn't get enough side on the cue ball there. I don't think he'd be taking this on. And again, it's just as well that you put that black safe. But having said that, Phil, where the black is, and Ricky gets in, he could play the double into the left middle. That would be an option. 20 the lead, 22 on. It's been a long frame, this one, and still yet to be decided. Mark Allen, five. Good pace. I think he's just got enough room here to get in behind it, what we call a player kicker. Lots of left hand side cushion first. So, but sometimes you don't have enough room. They tend to go sideways rather than sort of more down the table, but he needs to get right in behind this. A lot of left hand side. Not bad. Well, he's put the pink a little bit more safe, but he won't be bothered about that. At least he hasn't left the brown on, which is all that Mark needs. Now, oh, this one's a bit pacier. Yeah, I think he's left it on. I just wonder whether Ricky might just try and float this in and leave the white just this side of the, uh, the blue spot. then get back for the pink, which won't be easy. And of course the problem, problem with the black on the side cushion, so a frame winning chance then, Phil. Piece of cake. Great pot. Well, there's the first part done. Well, if he clears oh. from here, every credit. Yep. He might go for this because it's a natural angle to get close to the pink. Is it this stage that, uh, well, I don't know, will he just chip off it thin for the safety or have a go? Well, this frame is in danger of lasting as long as the first three put together. Whoever wins it is going to feel elated because both have put a lot into it. It's one of those frames that's horrible to lose. Walden, four. All that blood, sweat and tears for nothing. Yeah, he's played one there, though. He made up his mind just to wait. So he's just applied the pressure here a little bit to Mark Allen.
Yes, nicely done. Well, this frame is getting on for 45 minutes plus of that two and a half hours. Started at quite a lick, but things have ground to a halt. Two more frames still to come after this one. Yeah, and if they have another one like this, they might not play the last one, Phil. They might just give the boys a couple of hours off to get ready for the evening session. It's a possible. Could play 11 frames instead of 10 this evening. You don't really sort of going into the evening session, do you, really? Or getting close to it. Give the boys a chance, give them a couple of hours off. Well, that's not clever from Walden. He may have got away with it. For one minute as though he was going to leave. A very makeable pot. This is potable, but it's tough. And I think he'll just throw this blue around the table here for safety, put it to the top cushion. Gone the other way, but he's still getting the blue to the top cushion. That's clever. Alan only needs the blue, remember. Walden needs all three. And that's the worst scenario, isn't it, when you've got the balls fairly straight up and down the table. These are never easy to get safe. Might be a Dennis Taylor double. More like a treble in the end, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, he's played the double kiss. That's very clever. Needs that white tight to the cushion, though. Yeah, it's got to be that full-ish. If you don't, it'll go sideways. But there's still a pot on here. I just wonder whether he might take this on. I think he's got to. He only needs the blue. Black safe. He's got some insurance. Well, if he starts lifting the cue, which he is doing, I think he's going for this. I think he is going for this. Middle. Oh, he's been lucky. He's got it safe. Well, again, another possible kicker here. Cushion first. The danger is, again, he's got to get right in behind this. If he catches it fully, he'll push it towards the, cop, to the uh, top corner pocket, I should say. Knuckle. He's left it on. Well, he'll be going for this with the pink and black where they are. This is a definite chance to win the frame. So near. Well, how lucky has Alan been there? My goodness me. I'll tell you what, he's had a touch, hasn't he, over the last... Uh, he's gone for a couple of pots, got away with them. Look at that. That's horrible for Walden because not only is he snookered, he's right on the jaw with that cue ball. Well, you can see the reason why he put the black there now. Very fortunate. I think he'll feel a little aggrieved if he loses this frame. Playing the swerve. <laughs> this blue could finish anywhere. Well, this is potable for sure. It's not an absolute gimme, but you'd back Alan to make it. Just gone a little bit edgy, hasn't it? Understandable. Well, another chance to win the frame. He's got to go for this. Only needs the blue. Well, it's taken an awfully long time to sort this frame out. But finally, finally, Mark Allen 11, has friend. taken it Allen. to win his third in a row. Not without a hint of controversy, though, with Ricky Walden awarded a miss, which he didn't take after Mark Allen objected to the referee that it wasn't a free ball. 4-3 Allen.